It was a tragedy that had the nation's attention. An Oakland, California warehouse turned art space goes up in flames. And once the smoke cleared, 36 bodies were found. The fire blamed on safety violations. Could something like that happen here? Well, that's the question our investigative team is asking since we have a similar space here called the Russell Industrial Center in Detroit. It is home to the largest artist community in the Midwest, we're told. Well, how safe is the building and is it up to code? Well, you might be surprised to find out what defender Karen Drew discovered. You may drive by the Russell Industrial Center and think it's abandoned, but there's actually a lot of activity here. The complex is made up of seven buildings, 2.2 million square feet, and has 184 tenants. Inside, there's a flurry of activity. Spaces can suit anything from art studios, galleries, and exhibitions for artists. But how safe is this facility? Take a look at this incident list we found. A building fire in the morning of July 25th last year. The report shows insulation was ignited because of an electrical failure or malfunction. That same day, another incident. A smoke scare because of an electrical short. Last October 7th, another building fire on the ground level in a storage area. October 27th, another fire. And mid-November, a smoke removal situation. We talked to some artists who rent space here. They did tell me they were worried about their safety and the building safety, but they were afraid to speak up. Now, take a look at what I found in a recent building inspection. On August 22nd, an annual building inspection was performed and the site received a fail. When the defenders visited the center with our undercover cameras, we saw concerns firsthand, like these sprinkler heads covered with bags and overflowing dumpsters by the exit and temporary walls made of wood that could be a fire hazard. But then came this report I've got in my hand from the fire department dated December 9th. Now I have to tell you that same day, we sent a request to the city asking for the latest inspection. That same day, they sent out an inspector and take a look at what they found. Fail, 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 fail in all 25 failures found here. The complex was cited for poor maintenance of sprinkler systems, accumulated combustible waste material, obstructed exits, fire barriers should be continuous, extension cords shall not be used as a substitute. The violations go on and on. Now, see what the inspector wrote here. Due to the extreme fire load witnessed within the occupancies and the inability to verify any fire protection systems functionality, this complex is in violation of the fire codes listed above. It is imperative that a valiant effort be made to correct these infractions immediately. Correct infractions immediately? That was two months ago, and the defenders discovered many of those violations still exist. Now remember, while these non-compliance issues go on, the artists and 184 vendors still work here. So what does the city have to say? Fire Marshal was not willing to talk about our findings on camera, but did send a statement reading in part, it's not uncommon to find numerous violations in a space that size. However, none were issues that would prevent them to continue operating while they are being addressed. At present, there are still outstanding violations at this location. We will continue to diligently pursue all unresolved issues until they are in full compliance. I did reach out to the owner of the complex, Dennis Cafalinos. He was not willing to do an on-camera interview about those violations. Instead, his marketing spokesperson told me they are aware of the violations and working to correct them. Of course, I'll be staying on top of this story. Karen Drew, Local 4 Defenders.